Hi, I'm Captain Brian Fancher with Texas Fishing Tips. This is a weekly fishing report for the Corpus Christi Bay. Area. Right, here's what we're going to be talking about are the entrance to Noasis Bay here, over around here at Ingleside in the deep water. And then we're going to come across the Corpus Bay. I'm going to show you some areas down around the JFK Causeway and over a little bit in Oso Bay. There continues to be a whole lot of trout hanging around the Indian Point area, uh, both sides of the bridge, but the uh, most concentration of them we found have been up in here, kind of in the area where you see them putting out the new grass beds, working along in there. Um, live bait's an option, but I found you really don't need it. If you take a good sand eel, uh, like a brown lure or something, throw a rattling jig head on there and just bump them along, you can really catch a lot of trout in here. Uh, they're all in about the 18 inch range and they're all pretty strong and healthy. Now. If you move around Indian Point, there are some fish to be had right along the drop off at Indian Point. Uh, there's some trout as well as some spotty redfish and the occasional drum, but mainly your trout are still hanging around here. And moving across Corpus Bay towards the Ingleside area, if you fish the intercoastal along here, be careful uh, with the winds and everything we've had, it can get a little dicey in this real deep water. But there's been a lot of reds running the drop offs of the intercoastal behind these islands right here. Uh, live shrimp is your best bet. Uh, if you can't get your hands on some shrimp, throw a gulp on a jig head and bounce them along the bottom. And uh, four inch is best for the big reds, either a new penny or a nuclear chicken. This area over here between Kate's Hole and Dead Man's Hole, back behind the church that most of you see on your way out to Port Aransas, has been holding a lot of good drum on there. Look for the drop offs off the shell points, and that's where you're going to find your drum. Be careful. Remember, it's duck season right now. There's a lot of blinds out there and a lot of guys shooting, so keep an eye out for that. But go back there and look for your drum with some uh, some live shrimp. The old Don Patricio Railroad tracks right here in the kind of middle section of Oso Bay has been holding a few trout on there, but really a lot of reds have been moving along this drop off uh, where the, the middle deep cut is. Kind of feather your way to one side of the bridge or the other and throw out some live bait in there or cut bait. Cut mullet, live mullet have been working really well along there for the reds and the trout. Don't forget to go to texasfishingtips.com to register for our weekly t-shirt and tackle giveaway. And I'm Captain Brian Fancher. Thank you for watching.